I grew up going with my mom to well, the farmer's market. They, they like your cucumber. So you know, she chose the tomato and avocados. I think it's something that you need to see growing up. Yeah, they love Rex. It just changes it a little bit from sandwiches every day. We're living in like eight minutes. Welcome to our kitchens. This is Jane. I'm gonna braise some short ribs with like lots of onions, almost like an onion soup braised short ribs. It's one of those, you know, cliche stories of, yes, I was with my mom in the kitchen, you know. <laughs> I never thought it's gonna be a profession, you know, I just kind of liked food. It just grew on me, you know. This is it. How easy was that? There's so many vegetables packed into that stock. My team so takes care of all the recipe development for all of our The products. risotto is just full of the flavor. Now it explains why, because it went in, you know. and What I cook at home and what I cook here for Noor often doesn't differ a lot. It's a good question. We were looking for, for a great recipe or a great dish. You know, we were walking between those two buildings and I saw the parking lot and I was like, why don't we have a farmer's market on premises? So he's looking and he says, that's a great idea, start one. It's amazing. Food is like an orchestra. You shouldn't hear the trumpet, you know. And everything has to be fine-tuned. You want balance, you want variety, you want things kids will love, but not kids' foods. What's a heirloom tomato? I don't know what it means. I think simple and mixing flavors don't contradict. It's just making sure that it's the right flavors in the right, in the right balance. The mission for me is that my consumer, when she cooks dinner, it's a success, right? The kids sit around the table and they ask for more or they finish their plate. Wow. <laughs> it's an awesome job. Better than the average tomato.